Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from Mobile World Live. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So T-Mobile is very confident now that we are through a good amount of the 5G era. And T-Mobile now has the lead in that technology on the technology side, as stated here by the SVP Chief Networking Officer. He states... As it, as it pertains to 5G Advanced, that rollout is nationwide. They are the only two carriers globally that actually have a 5G Advanced rollout nationwide, he explained. And a big part of that was kind of what we did four or five years ago when we started rolling out 5G. So for those of you who remember, when they rolled out 600, they rolled, they rolled it out in a dual band radio with 5G and LTE on the dual band radio. So now, as we head into 6G, T-Mobile is very confident that they will be first to 6G as well. If 5G Advance is the foundation of this, 6G is the horizon, he said. We're, co we're very confident we will be the leaders in 6G, 6G and extremely optimistic that, we be the, that we'll be the first ones to roll out 6G in the United States as well. So just... Just given how far ahead they are on the 5G deployment, uh, and they are far ahead. I mean, there is still, I would say, at least another year or two where Verizon has to focus on just upgrading the old Band 13 only sites. And by the time they're done doing that, who knows where T-Mobile where will be in its deployments. They're working towards AI RAN technology which they believe here in this statement, as you can see, the progress has been fantastic, he said. This is a technology that I think we will innovate in the United States and the rest of the world will follow. They think now they're innovating a technology in AI RAN, which is intent-based networking that the rest of the world will adapt. And when they say the United States, of course, they're talking about Verizon and AT&T. So he says here, while it's not yet 6G, T-Mobile is in early trials for intent-based networking, including real-time optimization of the network during weather-related emergencies. So they're doing some of that now. I, I believe it's called uh, Sun Self-Optimizing Network that can optimize in real-time. But if you take that to the next level in into 6G, I mean... Again, the term intent-based networking, I mean, you can move workloads in real time, which is, you know, you can shift it, move it over. If more resources are needed on the certain side, you can do all of that in real time, which gives you huge advantages on the network. So that's where we are optimizing our network on a minute-by-minute -minute basis through our self-organizing network. Self-organizing is what it's called, he said. That's... That's a start of the intent-based networking journey. That's just the beginning. Like I said, when you are able to do that in real time, I mean, you can move loads of work almost instantly in seconds where, okay, this business needs home internet right away. There's a bigger workload coming. The network can, can take care of that in seconds because it'll be smart enough to handle that. We won't see it because that's how quickly it'll happen in real time so it's interesting t-mobile is i don't want to say quiet about 6g but they're so far ahead on 5g today that they've been able to already move into 6g trials and testing behind the scenes and it has them optimistic that they will be first to 6g as well so the 5G advanced journey is far from over, of course. Like we have L4S now, Red Cap. The Red Cap is being being used by watch uh, the uh, Apple smartwatch right now, the Apple Ultra, Ultras, and the 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 Watch Series Eleven. They're using the Red Cap, and I'm sure there's going to be some other IoT devices that will adapt Red Cap. That's that's essentially the IoT of 5G, and the future is bright at T-Mobile. That's how confident they are that they can make this work 
to where they will be first to 6G. And based on all the evidence that's out there and how far T-Mobile is in its deployments and how much further they will even be after the U.S. cellular integration, I mean, it's you should also say, OK, yeah, T-Mobile, maybe they will be first to 6G being how far behind the competition is. I mean, look at AT&T, right? They said they have SA deployed, but it's still requiring provisioning at the at the account level, which hasn't been fully done yet nationwide. So they're not even ready to do that nationwide. The other carriers aren't doing voice over NR even on, on, on a broader scale. Verizon is doing it to some extent in some markets, but none of it is deployed like on a nationwide scaled network. None of it. None of the carriers have that. T-Mobile has all of it. They have SA on low band, SA on mid band. They have um, voice over NR deployed. They have L4S. They have Red Cap. Any other 5G advanced technologies that are coming, they're going to do it. They have 5XCA, 6X, 6, uh, 6 carry aggregation coming. And it's already, the network's already ready. T-Mobile just has to turn it on. That's how far ahead T-Mobile is today. But let me know your thoughts in the comments on this. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.